Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, wow, what a cool dinosaur. T-Rex right there, Ceratosaurus right there. This guy's fighting. Oh my god, you got Darby Mania. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Jurassic Park, my chilled out playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution. We are on episode 19 and what will hopefully be our final trip to Isla Tucano. The park is thriving with our newly expanded services throughout the park, but we are not finished yet. We've got lots more room for some lovely dinosaurs, even space for an entire extra paddock. So we're going to keep on digging up those dinosaurs and seeing just how exciting we can make Isla Tucano before we get that 5 star rating. So, let's get to work. Okie dokie. So, here we are, back in the park. Uh, so, one thing that occurred to me, looking at Michael Sarah, is before we do anything else, that there has been a, an egregious uh, error. We have not, um, we've not dealt with the disease. Is it is a disease first, no. We, <laughs> we have not uh, named a whole bunch of our new dinosaurs. So, once we get this disease under control, I will be uh, naming a whole bunch of new dinosaurs that we've got. Have not yet got names. Adding to the list. Hopefully that'll be enough to sort that out. Uh, so starting off over in this paddock, we have got what we've got here. Our Nautoceratops. So we've got a couple of these. Uh, so I'm gonna name them all. Toro for the Alpha. Uh, we have also got what else? Oh the weird the weird Mesiosaur that we had to make for Isaac. And you know what? I find them quite strange and alien-like, so I'm actually gonna name them Ridley Ash. There's another one from the Alien films. Parker? The Dallas was another one. There we go, Dallas. I think that's all of the Massiosaurus, so we need to make sure. Yeah, excellent. They're all named. Anything else? Oh, not down here, not being named. Oh, another Nosoceratops. Uh, so let's go with. There we go. Uh, the... Oh, and we got another Triceratops as well. So we were going with the God of War theme, if I remember correctly, but in that case, we'll go with Mimir. Oh, we had the uh, Dinkisaurus as well, the Dankisaurus. The Yenisaurus. The first time I haven't really seen these guys in a while. They're pretty pretty sweet, chilling with a, with a T-Rex, stomping around. Uh, so let's get some names for these guys. Uh, so, they are known for their sharp claws, so we're going to go with, classically, Claude. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have Sharpie maybe, uh, and then third one can be Nails. Yep, those are named Dankosauruses. I think. We've got, oh, we got someone in danger. Who's that? At? Oh, it's over here. Ranger. Yeah, the Ranger guy is fine. Raptors having a little snack. Uh, and we've got a whole bunch down here that need names. So let's quickly go through these. We've got the Chorusothorus. So we're gonna give them their traditional names. Oh, that's all of them. Okay, that's, <laughs> that wasn't so bad. And lastly, the Parasol. Please, guys, have a chat. I want to take this contract, which means you want to take it too, correct? I am actually going to take that because I realise Doctor Doe is getting low on their kind of relation with us, so I want to make sure that we stay in their good book. So I'll do that's a very quick one to build. I can build it and I can suck. We need to finish the important job of naming the dinosaurs first while these guys have a chat. So the Parasaurolophorus, as you can see, is they are the, the J shape of their head and their neck is what makes the J in Jurassic Park. So they're all going to get J names. Uh, starting with, of course, James, James, Jamie. Man, there's a lot of these guys. <laughs> How many did we make? Janet. Uh, oh, there's one all the way over here on their own. Oh, you're lonely because you're so far away. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, let's go with. Jimmy. Oh, I think that's a lot. Uh, I'm tempted to actually pick them up and get them brought back over here because. I don't want them to start causing trouble because they're lonely because they've wandered up on their own. So we'll get them picked up and move them back over here with the rest. What an unusual situation. I think it's everything named now. I think it's ev all of our dinosaurs are now named, thankfully. Uh, it took a little while, but uh, that's what happens when you forget to do it on the go, you see. Uh, it's one of those things. How's everything else doing? Everything looking very, very busy. Lots of, lots of customers. Yeah. Which is good, I guess. Um, we're still not hitting that five star rating. Program. I'll wait for <laughs> they're falling asleep. Oh. Are you missing it while it's falling asleep? Come on, guy. Why is it? Oh, I think we threw ourselves well. What is going on with this neck? Again, it's got completely trunked neck. The rest of it is fine. Oh, shooting the I'm shooting people in the park now. 
Right. I'll let you get back on with it. In fact, are we, are we scared them close enough now? No, we don't scared them close enough. That was a faff. Right, let's get you <laughs> over here. So, to please Dr. Doa, whilst we're getting ready to increase our park. I'm gonna do a quick herbivore trip. Let's send some. Oh, that's the Metric Ancestorus. Oh, we've had one of those in the park on our last island. A two four star fossil. That's pretty good. Uh, we will go get some more of that. It's a cool dinosaur. It's a um, carnivore. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking dinosaur. We've not got the iguanodon to 100% to, to a usable rate yet, so we'll get that out of the way. And I wanted a small herbivore. So I'm guessing the iguanodon kind of counts as Dreadnoughtus. Yeah, let's get that on the go. See what that's all about. That's all underway. I'm going to build a small power plant just to kind of keep the Doctor happy, and then we'll destroy it in a second or two. So it doesn't really matter where it goes. But this is where we've got space for a brand new paddock, and also I'm thinking another hotel. Uh, I'm thinking of putting a couple more hotels. We'll put one here, and maybe another one just down here um, in this kind of area. If we kind of like maybe it might expand some of this, uh, peel some of this back. Sorry. Um, we could even try and peel some of this back and build another one here. So we've got plenty of hotels. We've got monorail stops at each one, so it's kind of like, you know, that's the whole thing going on. Um, and a space for under the paddock, of course, as well. So I think, first things first, I think what, what I'm going to do is to try and make this feel like it's its own space. There we go, that built. You've done some impressive work. I have, and, and I've destroyed I it, Dr. Dover. <laughs> Immediately destroyed it. Around here. That's what I think of your work, Dr. Dover. Uh, but hopefully it'll keep them in the good books for a little bit. Because this is a kind of a facilities park, I'm going to put a little fence behind it like you normally when you have facility centres, just to try and make it feel it kind of feels like it's a it's an actual facility then, which I quite like. I like the idea of that. If you look at it now and it kind of looks like the you know, it's own little place, which is good. And we can look at making this into our new area. So uh, first of all let's take off these fossils. Those two four stars have got it almost as the metric and doors is available. We might be able to bring that out on this island, which is not what I was expecting. So we're gonna need a level area to start with. And then it'll also by making it flat like this, it's also separating the, uh, the facilities park up at the top, so that's quite nice as well. So, first things first is going to be the hotel. So, let's get the hotel down. That is one of the big considerations. Maybe I can put it right in the middle. I can do like what I did in the first island. Have it like right in the centre of the island. Uh, like, let's get our... Oh, maybe I should, maybe for the depends, I should actually put the shops in. And then I can build the in, the in place entirely around however best we can fit the thing in. So I want a monorail station up here to make sure I've transport. Food, we're gonna need water, we're gonna need all the things. In fact, what I might do is I might actually make it so that this path will This contract looks interesting. Oh, to me. Anyway. How many do we what have? Do you think? I'll give it a go. I don't know if you know what number one at the moment, but we may as well give it a go. We're running on Oh, we're not far away from that. That's a lot of guests. That is a crazy number of guests. Um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this path connect like somewhere along here. Get rid of that, like so. Uh, and let's see if we can get some shops down here. So we want a restaurant. Everything covered, basically. We want entertainment, we want shopping, we want, yeah, everything covered up here. So, excellent stuff. There we go. So that's this little, like, little hub created over here. Here's the hotel ready and ready to go. So, I'm going to actually now look at doing the fence. So, we're not going to have that much extra room. That I, <laughs> not as much as I thought we'd have, but at least it is one of them. And then if these are all connected, so this is a big old hat. If I destroy this path, are we going to lose power? Let's find out. No, excellent stuff. Cool. Oh, that's really good. Right, so now we've got we've got the parameters of what we want to build now. Okay, that's good. So, and get it right in the park. So you get to be right up there with the dinosaurs when you stay at the hotel. Which is a cool thing. Like, it would be a great thing to be able to do. Why is there a person? <laughs> How did you even get there, my friend? Who, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? Off a random part of the hotel. Are you a security guard? You're just patrolling this barren wasteland, eh? Okay, well, more more fun to you, I guess. Right, let's put some viewing galleries in. So maybe what I might have to do is I might have to cut this corner a little bit so they've got a bit more viewing space. And also it gives you more space if you want to put some more shots and stuff up here, depending if you can get that star rating up. I don't want a usual little graphical issue there. i uh, put you there. That actually covers the majority of the area on its own. Cool. And then we've got this giving its coverage as well, of course. So we've got a nice little open area here, which is good as well. So let's give that a big go. Oh, are we just low on power in general? Or is power being cut somehow? Maybe it's low on power. Let's look. Yes, no power available. Oh dear. I've got a new opportunity with the science division. If you're well, interested. Oh, a Ceratosaurus with a racing base. 
Hmm. No, I'm not on board with that. Although I was, I was thinking maybe I could sell um, Michael Sarah, but because he's probably getting on now. Uh, in fact, yeah, we'll accept him. We'll just we can cancel him. How old is Michael Sarah now? We can sell him if he's got a if good enough rating. Uh, where are you? Over here. He's about to be on his last legs anyway. Star rating is. Oh, he's only 94. Yeah, he's not going to do it anyway. Uh, oh, but he is getting on. Yeah, he is, he's over his lifespan, so we might, we might get into the end of Michael Sarah soon, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and yet we are actually low on power, which is bizarre. Oh, is it the paths? Is it actually the paths having an issue? Oh, that's what it might be. It seems to have like half accepted the paths and half not. So maybe what I'll do in that case is I will pull this path up and we'll wind a path through and then that way at least we know for certain it is accepting the path. Uh, I'll build a Hammond needed more people like you here. when he first started down this prehistoric path. Fast learners, dedicated personnel, well, I'm sure there were some that weren't eaten. <laughs> Cheers, Ian. As always, a constant support. Oh, and our, our satisfaction's gone right up as well, which is great. That's really, really good. Uh, let's actually clear this fencing out. That'll lower some demand, right? Feeder needs resupply. Yeah, that's fair. That's enough of that for a while. Uh, feed is on the go. Uh, and then we've got some, is it paths missing, I guess? Yeah, these two. There we go. Not a problem. Not a problem. Let's get the... That. Attention island personnel. A new monorail. Attention island personnel. And guests will be arriving shortly. Uh, unusual uh, bit of language they've used there. Uh, let's put that connected to there. There we go, we've got a nice uh, oh no. <laughs> Once again, hole in the paddock, right, let's get that connected up to there, like so. And we know at least we've got definite path. All the way through. Uh, already full. All three of these are already full. That is crazy, right? Let's let's increase the prices. It's all it's all expensive at this end of the park. <laughs> it's all money. Uh, and we need to do a little little bit of decoration, I think, as well would be good. Little tiny trees with anyone that tends to fit anywhere. Put them in these spaces. No. I think here I'm going to do something. I very rarely do outside of the enclosure. I'm going to do a little. A little rock thing and we'll see if we can use some of the plants to we've got like we've got like something nice right we've got vibrant yeah uh we'll click the monorail and then we'll look at getting some dinosaurs actually in that paddock rather than it just sitting there on its own so let's get the monorail connection there we go excellent stuff uh cool so let's get on working on a couple of dinosaurs so we want to have the oh we're going to cancel that contract for dr Doe as well uh, and we're going to want to get one of these brand new Metra, got a long name, Metracanthosaurus. That sounds pretty bad, actually. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Metracanthosaurus. Uh, and also, uh, a couple of brachiosaurs. When you do well, well, you make me look better. Oh, no, we're I won't about. forget that. I'm, I'm glad you're pleased. Uh, let's get, uh, yeah. Hopefully they can have more than one. It is a bit, it is a bit T-Rexy, so I might just leave it with one for now. We'll check that out. And then in here, we're going to actually get ourselves a couple of the big old Brachiosaurus. Let's get and we're going to put in them in together. I, I think that the Metricanthosaurus and the Brachiosaurus will be able to live together up there. That's my theory. I don't know if that's true or not, but we can give it a try. Uh, we're going to see if we can get a bit of a landscape on the go here. Fill in the gap around the edge. Think about creating a border so, it's a, so you know, people can't see into the, um, the research centre. The water, I think, always looks quite good when it's around the hotel. But what I might do this time is, might try, we'll try something different. We'll build it over here somewhere or something. Uh, oh, when things go wrong, who do they turn to first? Quite a good challenge, actually. It. It's only so worth hundred thousand. this contract part of us always being ready. Take a photo with hundred uh, worth five thousand dollars. Not too bad. So I'll keep, I'll keep that in the pocket. If, if George starts to get low, he is one of the lower two at the moment. I might go and go for a drive and take a picture with uh, George, keeping keep him happy. Uh, let's get some more bits on the go in here. Oh, a dead dinosaur. Oh no, one of the Dilophosauruses. Kyle. Oh, poor Kyle. Died of old age. Oh no, that means they're all going to die of old age. Not to devalue the, the tragic loss of Kyle, uh, but it means they're all on the way out, which is not the best. Right, let's get him out of here quickly before he causes any disease or anything. Poor Kyle. We can get some more out, I guess. We can, we can replenish the supply of Dilophosaurus soon. Uh, but it's still a tragic loss. Uh, speaking of actually, you know what? Speaking of adding more foliage, I wonder if we can actually fill this bit. 
that make it look better? Or was a little bit of path there randomly? Get rid of that. Make it feel like you're off to somewhere different rather than just, you know, see, cl see, clearly see it the whole way up. Yeah, that actually makes it look a little bit nicer. Like you're walking down like an actual tropical path now to get up here, and the hotel's at the top. It actually looks quite good. Better, <laughs> better than I expected, at least. Anyway, I thought this would be very, very crammed in. It's a little bit, a little bit rude that lake. So we'll put a <laughs> gonna put a rock in it to see if that uh, helps uh, remove that look. <laughs> And stuff. So uh, I don't know what either of these dinosaurs are going to need. Uh, is part of the issue. So I guess when we will find out what they need shortly, um, it'll be the first time we're putting one of the plants for carnivores in with herbivores. That was one of the big deals that I wanted to do. Oh my god, these guys fighting! Oh my god, Sharpy maniac! What are you doing? It's a T-Rex. <laughs> uh, Balls on that guy. <laughs> Uh, it does actually occur to me that I'm going to need to either separate the paddock or... I think it's going to be the easiest thing to separate the paddock, isn't it? Otherwise, we're going to have uh, a T-Rex and a uh, Metrocanthosaurus in the same area, which... Fine for the herbivores, not so great for the carnivores. These shops are already full. Again, we've not... we've not. Oh, even that's still full. Good lord. Okay, so... Gigantus take a game. It sounds harsh, but it's, hiring the prices is, is lowering people's chances of going there. <laughs> it's pricing people out, which is very unpleasant, but it is what it is. Right, here we go, our very first Metrocanthosaurus. Well, not our first we've seen, the first we've made for certain. Oh, it's fast! Oh, they are quite raptor like, aren't they? And the stripes. The green. Very, very cool. The green stripes around the jaw is awesome. What a cool hunter. Missing okay. grassland. Well, Dr. yeah, you, tells me that this we'll get you out of there. The Metriacanthosaurus is a bit of a mystery. Maybe we can learn more about it as a result of your work. A big fan of this guy, Green Joe. Right, come on. What a cool dinosaur. Once he's taken out, we will uh, go and move him up to the north, and hopefully we'll find out what kind of environment uh, he'll be happy with. Uh, and we'll get our two bron bron our first Brachiosaurus out there. Well, I was thinking, you know what, maybe I'll move the... Um, maybe I'll try and move one of the predators down to this big paddock. I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of meat down here. <laughs> If it goes wrong, uh, that can go very, very badly. So this is, this is going to be a new experiment. We're going to try different dinosaurs in up here and see what they like. Request. See whether they can interact safely or whether it's going to be uh, game over time. Right, that is in the air, so it's safe. Uh, and I might, might do the same, actually. I might get a couple more Dilophosaurus out. Have we got any more genomes for these guys? Let's see if we can make some real fancy looking dinosaurs. Gonna need to, to create this. We're gonna need to drop one of these. Oh no, they're already they're, they're already on there. So that's sixty percent. So there's a good ten percent chance these dinosaurs aren't gonna be okay. So it's Thirty plus the sixty, so we're at ninety percent. So let's let's go for it. Let's hope for the best and go for it. There we go. Let's see how we go. We've not risked it for a while with dinosaur uh, incubation, so let's hope for the best. There's still a dinosaur. Oh no! Oh, it is indeed Michael Sarah. Oh, Michael Sarah. I'm sorry, buddy. What a shame. What a shame. He with us from the very start, and now the goat is the lord of the lord of the paddock. <laughs> well, let's get him out of here. We could actually we could move uh, the dinosaurs over to here to this paddock, and that would give this free reign to have a few more things going on and out. But I do like this main paddock having the T Rex in. The good entry paddock, isn't it? You see the T-Rex straight, straight from the uh, from the get-go. I'm interested to see how our little friend Queen gets on here. I didn't add a toilet, did I? So that, once again, failing to add toilets at every juncture. Oh, there's quick. a new security contract. Interested? Yeah, I'll take that from George. Keeping them all kind of middling level. We want to keep them all vaguely happy. We don't don't want to get anything too excited. We also don't want to get into trouble in them. So we've not built a science center or a military center. So let's see if we can. Squeeze one of these in here. Apparently, the game doesn't like it. So, game, it is a shame we can't fit that in there, but never mind. And let's see how you're getting on. How do you like it? Excellent. 100% on all of it, which is great. Social on you is. 1 to 2. So, we could have had another one, but we didn't, which is, which is fine. Uh, righty, let's have a look. Oh, I we knew you'd be able to George. finish that nice. contract. And my belief in you has been rewarded. Thanks. And fantastic. It is time for the Brachiosaurus. Let's get the Brachiosaurus out there. Our very first huge tall neck dinosaur. Oh wow, look at that! 
coming right over the edge. That's amazing. Oh man, look at these giant feet. What an awesome dinosaur. I realize now I actually have a model of one of these that I thought was a, uh, a Diplodocus. It's actually definitely a Brachiosaurus. It's got the ridge on top of the head and everything. You think that? Ah, adorable. Man, what a cool dinosaur. I am a... Oh, a Brachiosaurus. Oh, needs Wonderful. more forest. Okay, well, we'll Our get the other one out. enjoy the large dinosaurs. And we'll uh, get you tranked and we'll get ready to take them up to the north paddock, which is cool. Yeah, we're getting them. We're gonna need some more forest up here, then I guess. So, what are your forest requirements, big dinosaur? Uh, forest is minimum requirement. So, so we've got a nice middle area that they can come out to, but all the edging is, uh, is kind of forested over. And we'll put all the feeders out in the front as well, so at least they'll, they'll be able to get uh, entertained when the feeders are out there. Uh, oh, and a gate. <laughs> it's gonna need a gate. Uh, oh, I've done it again. I've done it again. Ah, there we go. Perfect. perfect. This is actually quite far away from any any uh, support, so this is a slightly risky venture, I guess, having it all the way down. Cool, that looking good. So we can try and build another hotel, but more importantly, I realise. Get the other one of these tranks as well. The big <laughs> He just flopped on another dinosaur. <laughs> Let's get you out of here, come on. Get you moved up to the north paddock, and hopefully those two will get on with each other. Or three, I guess. Dilophosauruses are ready. What, what I'm eager to do now is that the most fun item in the game, the gyrus. We've got plenty of space for gyrus here, so we need to get those out there. Let's check out our new Dilophosauruses. For it. Oh, the little green ones. Oh, nice. Goblins. <laughs> Goblins and gremlins. Righty, let's get you... Let's get them taken up north. Uh, not up north, so they've got the task. private paddock already, haven't they? Which is fine. Uh, yeah, and it's adding in the gyrospheres. Yeah, we've not added the gyrospheres yet, which is a really important thing for me. Like, I really want to see what they look like and how they work. So finish this movement, and then we will get them away. I think right at the end here, the park's really come together quite nicely, which is really good. Uh, lastly, I'm going to get another Brachiosaurus, because in fact, we're going to get a, we're going to get a single maxed out Brachiosaurus, so we'll get a couple of maxed things. There we go. Uh, and yes, so let's have a look at getting the, the gyrospheres on the go. So, where are they? Here we go. And yeah, they add four stars to the flood. They've got two and a quarter of a million each. Uh, but let's get them on the go and see what we can do. Oh, we can just pop them in here as well. Oh, that's really good. Right, so pop one here. I want it to face that way, I'm guessing. No, that way, I'm guessing. Is this the path? Oh, this is the path of the gyrus. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that a lot. So you make a little trail for it, right? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll um, we'll do. How far can we get? Ah, oh, it's probably a bit too far. We'll do like a little slick navigate, and then they can kind of come along the water's edge, around the feeder. Can we actually get back in there? Yes, perfect. Look at that. What a cool little trail. Uh, and we can build a path to get to it. See if we can get to it. Go. Can we raise all this rather than. No, that's, that's, that's making it much worse. Back, back to the way it was, please. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can sort out the, the, the flooring here that I didn't level before we started. But here we go. It's done. Oh, and it has guests like a oh, value tour, standard tour, deluxe tour. Ah. Let's go for the uh, $15, I guess. Costs us 10 to do. Oh, it's going to cost $20 for it because it costs. Uh, we'll put in six gyrospheres uh, and an extra staff member, I guess, and then that should cook was covered. And oh, here they go! Ride the gyrosphere! Oh, sweet! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that's awesome! We could go round with the gyrosphere. You can see the dinosaurs up close. That's really, really cool. I love that. Oh yeah, we'll set some more of these up definitely. I wonder what they're like in carnival paddocks. I wonder if they're in danger. This would be a really easy way to to get some um, customers killed. <laughs> I guess I've messed up with the route of this one because I've, I've kind of put it where all of the viewing stations are, so why wouldn't you just go on a viewing station? So over this one, we'll try and do something a bit more different. We'll try and put it somewhere. Put one over here. We'll try and put it somewhere a bit more out. People don't get to view so much. So like all this area here, basically. basically. Let's put in our gyrosphere right here. 
we're gonna run that all the way around here like this. So uh, maybe we can go. Maybe we'll go around the lake. That'd be quite cool. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know how length affects this or, or what, but it's gonna be the little lake tour. All these areas that you can, can't really get that much of a view of a lot of the time. And it will now be it's perfect for our, for our guests. So we'll be here. There we go. Another path. So that's going to be straight there if they want to. And there's another one. And it leaves, you can kind of see the trail in the dirt, which is really cool. I like that a lot. And we can see now whether or not we can, put, we can start putting one in these paddocks here with our, <laughs> in our carnivores. See how that goes. Oh, here we go, here we go. How are these guys getting on? Health is low. The thirst is oh, essential, water. Water. and your dinosaurs require Come plenty on, of it. I've given them water. Why are you not providing for their needs? And they're happy with forests, and they're happy with things. And where is the metric and zero growth? There we go. Are you going to hunt my lovely dinosaurs? That's the question. I don't want to keep an eye. On them. Seems to be okay at the moment. I'm feeling these guys are so big that they wouldn't bother. But I'm not sure if that's just little dinosaurs. But the big dinosaur might. But it's looking good at the moment. It's going, going pretty smoothly, in fact. The restaurant needs more staff. They're paying forty dollars for steak, and they want more. Uh, we still haven't got that five star though. Let's have a look at what we've, what we've got. Seventy-eight uh, percent, seventy-one percent, eighty-eight. We're doing well across the board. Even toilets, <laughs> even toilets. Shelter is low, but I don't think that's. I don't know that bothered about shelter. I'll be honest with you. Transport is high. Maybe it is another. Maybe they need another hotel. Oh, 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 sorry guys, I forgot that. I, f I forgot all about you. Let's pop you over here. I think, yeah, I might cut this short and, and see if we can fit in, squeeze in a hotel over here. That might be all it needs. We're so high on everything else now. All the percentages should be high enough. Even sh even shopping at, at that rate should be high enough. Uh, even with minus 200 they want for the welfare penalty of our sleeping dinosaur that we've left there. Uh, it's still fine. They're both in the air. Let's release our deadly... Top of the line. Ceratosaurus. Yeah, some stuff. Looking for it. Looking for it. Nice. Excellent. Right. You can see these two together now. <laughs> Rexy's noticed. Rexy's on the ball. He noticed just on the other side of this very small fence. <laughs> it's another. Predator that he might want to go in there, snap on. Right. You know what? We'll take these shots ourselves, actually. T Rex right there, Ceratosaurus right there. <laughs> Get another shot. Oh, he dodged it. And you. There we go. I don't know if they need two or not, I can't quite remember, but let's give them two if we can do. <laughs> let's move over. There we go, yeah, it is two. We do need two. The other one's coming around for you boys. I'm running around roaring. There we go, perfect stuff. We've got them both down. Ceratosaurus down, Ceratosaurus down. Right, let's get you moved. Got I guess we've got so many dinosaurs now, but the number of diseases is probably gone up by a, a, a proportionate amount. As soon as these are airborne, I'm gonna get rid of this. Hey. I just received a new contract. Hell, no, I'm gonna sell them. We've not even made any out. yet. Come on, Isaac. There we go. <laughs> it's a T Rex having to sleep. Oh, a little sneezy Rex. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, trying to think now. Can I make a. Um, can I make a hotel area? Here? So, I'm gonna get rid of this. We're gonna see if we can. Uh, how far we can take this crazy plan. Get a hotel and get that five star rating at long last. In fact, if we, did it, if we did it like this, where that was, the back half of it is actually looking out over the T-Rex park, which is quite cool, actually. There we go. Line that half round. There we go. My, my, my last goal, maybe, would be to put in a um, monorail station here, see if that picks it up. And what, what's transport at? Have a look. Transport is 89 still, yeah, so we're, we're okay. 69 for the toilets. Let's see if we can find somewhere it wants more toilets, right? Like any good dinosaur park designer, I should be thinking toilets first. Toilets first. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. You gotta go. You gotta go. We saw. We saw how it went in Jurassic Park One. Oh, and we've got this area that we were looking at as well. You know what? I think we keep forgetting about this. So let's put that on. 
before that dinosaur goes for a wander over there. Let's we'll see if we can build. I don't know, what does this need? Let's have a look. Drinking food, which is fine. Pop that just there. Well, how far can we get that over this way? Can we squeeze in another shot? Yeah, man. A little bit. A little bit. There we go. Can we squeeze in? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. That's a shame. That'll have to do, though. It also means we can re extend this park as well, which they probably do. I don't appreciate it. Uh, we haven't got something that's low powered. Is this. Or are we. Oh, no. Are we, are, are we actually at low power now? Yes, we are actually at low power. So we need to get rid of something. I'm going to turn off the fossils. No, we have the research engine. We're not using it at all. So. Oh, it wasn't enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll turn off the fossil center then. No, so that makes me think it's not. It must be something to do with. Oh, it's this. Oh, that's all it is. And since we are waiting to try and get to five star, I am actually going to put these back on. And I'm going to send out some for more dinosaurs. See if we, can get some, we may as well get some more fossils since we're out here. Uh, what are we low on? Chukingosaurus we've had from the very start, actually. Let's see if we can get Chukingosaurus. We've got three hotels now, so I feel like that's got to be enough hotels, right? Surely it's got to be enough hotels. Do you guys need anything over here? We've got... I mean, the only thing I can think of is shelter, I guess. Happiness. I can try and put in a... Um... I think there's a, there's a clothes shop right there. Maybe here. In the level. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Can we put in the gyroscope place right here on this line? <laughs> can we get one in? Oh, we might be able to. If I, if I play around with the land a little bit, maybe we can get it to work. Play ball. Yes, there we go. Fantastic, right. I hope this isn't a really bad list. Oh, you can. What? Oh, you can do it to go through gates. That's so cool. Oh, man. Oh, we're probably going to do that in the future. That's awesome. I had no idea you could do that. Um, we don't want it to just go in where you can normally see, so we're going to go around to the lake. And we try and fit in a gate in again, because we don't have a gate in there at all now. And we'll, in fact, we might even do something weird like this. There we go. I'll put some, uh, put some trees in the middle. Immediately full. Immediately full. We'll go for the deluxe tour. This is where the real dinings are at, so no one's coming to see it. Okay, so let's go down to standard. And let's, have, let's, let's see what we get, shall we, in this. Go over this hill. And there's a predator right there, right next to us. Little Diankosaurus. <laughs> Another one on the path. And right there it is, right over there. Not even watching these guys. We're just watching this thing. There it is. The big, stomping, huge Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, we got four. New day, new show, oh, I just built the hotel. Contract. Come on, Isaac. You are definitely gonna want to check it out. We can't have another one. Sure, we can't have that many hotels here. That would be crazy. Uh, we do need to get food supplies sorted. Responding to resupply request. Add get that one. It's not been done yet. Cool. How are we doing our numbers again? Lowest we've got is shopping rate at 63. So I guess we can try and fit some shops in somewhere. Maybe I'll swap this for a shop. Thanks. So, thanks. So, we'll do that actually. so we'll get rid of this. Any other place for shopping is low. Can build another shop up here since you need it. I guess Can I find a route to here? Where are you trying to get to? He's done it. You know what? Uh, skip it. Uh, go and feed them instead. Strange. Strange actions there. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got in terms of things around here. Down here they want shops apparently, in this area. Uh, I'm going to have to do that. We're going to have to destroy our lovely park in order to just try and get these guys happy enough to give me that 5 star rating. It's crazy what you need to do to your park. Shop in there. There we go. That's what you need to do. They're fine there. They're going to be fine. Oh, they're not fine there. It's over hours because it's uh, good for them $20 shaving cream. Up here as well, do you need? You've got, you've got plenty of shops up here, right? You're full? Wow, okay, right. Oh, we lost another dinosaur. Oh, that's such a shame. Where did we lose a dinosaur? Oh, it's one of the other Dilophosaurus. That's, that's fair enough. Kyla, you know, you were, you were good to us. Thank you for staying in your pen and being a good dinosaur. Even when things are going crazy. Everything. Everything's high numbers. I don't know what's stopping us from, from getting that extra extra mile. Unless they need a fourth hotel. 
which would be crazy, right? We can't make sure they don't need a fourth hotel. Where would we even put a fourth hotel? <laughs> the, we could put one here, in fact, actually. We could squeeze one in the corner here, right by this place, so... Let's let's give it a try. If that's what they need, let's try it. I don't know. I don't know what else it could be at this point. I know. They are big, aren't they? They are really big. Let's look at the hotel again. Oh oh oh! We almost had it then. I did. I saw. You know what? Get rid of this tree. That might do it. That might do the trick. I saw a flicker. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. I saw a flicker of blue. Perfect. Right. Get this fence to run as close as we can do. Can we fit that tree back in? I don't think we're going to be able to fit a tree that size back in. So I might put a bit of a regular forest in. Maybe the forest. Yeah, they're fine. We've got a path across here. Maybe that will be it. Maybe, maybe they needed four hotels. They needed four hotels. That is three. That's good. They need a path by as well. No, I was kind of hoping that would tick it off. <laughs> I still don't know what they want from me. Uh, not enough shopping around here. Maybe this is what it is. Maybe this is where the holdup is. There it is. <laughs> there we go. There's our five star. Man. Oof. And we are completed. There we go. Five stars are for even. Only for a briefest of moment. Apparently, it's gone back down again now. <laughs> a tiny bit. We've got 10,000 guests. And our wonderful Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, there we have it. It took a little while longer than I expected to get the folks at this particular Jurassic Park to be happy enough to give us that coveted five star rating. But now we are done with our time here on Isla Tucano. We've done a lot on the island, from our very first Titan dinosaurs to the huge rolling fields of the mixed paddock. Uh, we had tons of new dinosaurs and lots, including, of course, our very first deadly Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next, we move on to Isla Penna, a new island and a new challenge. But if you've enjoyed yourself in this episode of Jurassic Park, then please leave a like. And to find out how we get on on the new island or for any other videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell to find out when my next video is released. But for now, for the very last time from the narrow cliffs of Isla Tucano, thank you again for watching and we'll catch you next time.